Hey, two, I'm back this time with a very exciting video. This is my first time ever Goose Creek haul. So I've kind of been like looking at Goose Creek a little bit and I finally pulled the trigger after um, watching a lot of Sean's reviews and how, and listening to how highly Sean spoke of Goose Creek. So I really wanted to just try it out. I decided to purchase these on a day where they were running like a six for 60 sale for their three weeks or something like that. And it got a little out of hand. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> so I wound up getting six candles, but then I found that the more I bought, they were still $10. So I'm like, well, geez, you might as well just buy more then. So um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine candles, two wax melts and a hand soap. So like I said, it got a, it got a little crazy in there, but, uh, but I'm really, really loving these items on cold. So I'm so excited to share them with you. I look forward to having more of a Goose, Ke uh, Goose Creek presence on my channel. So I'm definitely still a Bath and Body Works person. What I love about Bath and Body Works is the accessibility, the range of fragrances. But what I felt like I was lacking from Bath and Body Works, and I've talked about this on my channel before, is I feel like the quality of the products has gone down and also the originality, like the creativity in like the packaging and you know stuff like that. I just kind of wanted to venture out a little bit and see what was good in um, in other companies. So Goose Creek is where it's at for me today. I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna start with my non-candles. Like I said, I have two wax melts and a hand soap, so let's jump right into those. So the first wax melt that I picked up was Caramel Apple Lane, and as you, hello there, Caramel Apple Lane. Um, so yeah, this is just a very autumnal scent. I wanted to try it and see if it was a dupe for, um, for Cider Lane because that is definitely a fall staple of mine. And I don't think it's quite a dupe. It doesn't really have like the really sweet caramel as like a forefront that Cider Lane has. However, I feel like this is a really beautiful balance still of like a green apple of some caramel maybe a little bit of cinnamon too, and I think it's really lovely. So, um, beautiful green color, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six in here, so I feel like I got a good amount of wax. This one is, was on sale, I think. I think I paid maybe about three fifty or $3 or so for it, so um, I think they're normally on, or not on sale, I think they're normally sold for $4, but yeah, for six chunks. Um, I mean, I can't speak to longevity. I can't speak to strength or throw, but I feel like this is a pretty solid amount of wax for uh, $4 regular price. The next one that I decided to pick up is one that I thought about picking up at a candle, but I just wanted to try it in a wax melt first. This is waffles and ice cream. I love this packaging. I just, I, I just I have talked about this on my channel before. I just feel like Bath and Body Works has gone to this packaging that makes no sense with their fragrances. And I just want this kind of simplistic, like beautiful photograph of what that thing is. So waffles and ice cream, it smells mm, so good. It smells like definitely a baked good. I mean, I smell, you know, definitely a bready type of scent. There's also a butteriness to it. It smells like a baked item. There's a sweetness to it too. Mm, it's so good. So I see myself mixing this with things. I mean, I feel like I would try it maybe once on its own, but I think that I'm definitely gonna use this more so as a mixer. But yeah, this is a fantastic scent. So glad to have both of those. Again, I think that I even would normally pay $4 for these. Again, and I'm just kind of speaking based off of um, the scent itself and the amount of wax. So we'll see about longevity, about strength and throw, but I'm pretty happy with the amount of wax that I had for what I paid. The next thing I picked up was a hand soap. This is a hand soap in Carnival Apple. The key notes are uh, green apple, sponge sugar, light cinnamon, and vanilla. And this is 9.1 floral ounces, so a little bit bigger than the Bath & Body Works foaming soaps. So I will say that this soap, I don't know if I like it. And the only reason why not, I think it's, for what it's worth, it's a great fragrance but I do have an aversion to cinnamon. So when I purchased this, I was really banking on the light cinnamon to be lighter than it is. I think it is a little bit more prominent than what I was hoping. So 
I'm not horrified by this scent, but I don't know that I really like it either. So if you like apple cinnamon, I think this is gorgeous, but because I have a cinnamon aversion, I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll use it up um, either that or I'll give it to my mom because my mom really likes apple cinnamon. So we'll see how it goes. But like I said, if you're an apple cinnamon person, I would recommend this scent because it is very beautiful. The cinnamon is just a little bit too prominent for me. And I was hoping that it would be more of like an ooey gooey caramel tart green apple kind of scent, but I get more of a, like a fall and winter cinnamon apple kind of thing. So anyway, beautiful packaging. I love the color. Um, it's just, I may or may not use this. If I don't, it's going to go to my mom who will appreciate it. Okay. So now let's get into the candles. The first one I picked up is pink sugar cookie. The key notes are pink sugar, cookie dough, and vanilla. I will say that something right off the bat I'm really impressed with from Goose Creek is that I feel like the fragrances are on point to what it should smell like. I mean, I feel like the keynotes are really like it with what it smells like. To me, this smells like a sugar cookie. There is a baked good to it. There's a sugariness to it. I feel like I can kind of smell like an icing to it but there's also something kind of perfumey about this. Like it smells like pink sugar. I don't know if it's necessarily something I would want to eat, but yeah, it smells like a kind of perfumey sugar cookie and it's still really lovely. So glad to have it. Um, I'll have to kind of burn these and see what I think about strength and throw, but I'm pretty excited about these and I'm really happy so far, at least on cold with these items. The next one I purchased at the recommendation of Sean, this is Key Lime Cake Pop. Again, beautiful packaging. I love these colors. I love that it's a picture of a Key Lime Cake Pop and not like Chevron or whatever. Like, I mean, I can appreciate Chevron, but for something that says Key Lime Cake Pop, I'm gonna want a picture of a Key Lime Cake Pop. So again, beautiful wraparound color. I love a really lovely bright green color. The keynotes are lime, cake batter, and marshmallow. Mmm, this is so good. This is excellent. I mean, I I think that Bath & Body Works also does a good key lime pie scent. I feel like the key lime pie scent at Bath & Body Works smells a little bit like a cereal, like almost like Trix, whereas this to me smells more authentic, so I can appreciate both, don't get me wrong. But I feel like this is more authentic to what it is supposed to be. It smells like a cake pop to me. There's something very like heavy and kind of buttery and like a bakery good. And I do get that acidity and the tartness of a key lime. So I really love this gorgeous all around, beautiful green packaging. The wicks look good. I, I can't believe it took me this long to try Goose Creek, but I'm really glad that I did. I am ready to burn these. The next one I picked up is Soothing Coconut. Again, beautiful packaging here. I really love the picture with the wraparound, with the coordinating colors. The keynotes are Coconut Rain and Citrus Vanilla. I picked up this because I wanted to, com to see how it compared to other coconut scents I've had before. I will say, if you are a fan of coconut leaves from Bath & Body Works, which I am, if you're a fan of coconut leaves and you really want like a, kind of a milky green kind of coconut, this is it. I mean, I don't necessarily know if this is a dupe per se, but I definitely do get strong coconut leaves vibes. So if you like coconut leaves, definitely check this out. Again, beautiful packaging. This has white wax. The wicks look good. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. The next one is Weekend Getaway. So I don't have any notes on this, but it kind of smells, I mean, not like it's necessarily, again, a dupe or anything, but but it kind of reminds me of Endless Weekend from Bath & Body Works. So it definitely gives me this kind of like nondescript, more kind of conceptual summertime, you know, like kind of a floral fruit kind of scent. So this definitely would be a good one, I think for probably like May or June when I'm kind of in this summery mood and getting out of school. So yeah, I mean, I feel like out of all of these, this is one of the ones that I'm kind of the least like going crazy over. But again, if you like Endless Weekend, this is kind of what it reminds me of. The next one, I love this scent already. It's Tropical Daydream. So again, beautiful packaging. I'm really loving this kind of like teal color. And it for the notes, it says pineapple, apple, and guava. Mmm. It is so good. I get the acidity of the pineapple. I get kind of like a tartness 
from apple, a smoothness and a heaviness from guava. Mm, so really good. I think that this is such a unique fragrance. I really like the mix of these three fruits. I feel like I wouldn't really think to put them together. I mean, probably the pineapple and the guava together for sure. But I don't know that like if I were making a fragrance, I would think to put apple in it. But I think that it's really lovely and it works. So again, I feel like I'm so excited about this haul. I definitely see myself, as long as these perform well, which I imagine they will, I do see myself becoming more of a Goose Creek person in addition to a Bath and Body Works person. So the next one that I picked up, and I feel like I keep saying this about every single one, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This is the orange cream sickle. Again, beautiful packaging. Can I get just like a picture of oranges? Here we go. And yeah, it just has this wraparound orange too and it's really beautiful. So it says vanilla, orange, and light fizz. I'm typically not like a soda person in home fragrance because I feel like soda can be really, really wrong in soda or in a home fragrance. Mm, but this is done really nicely. So it smells really authentic. Like this smells like something I would drink. And not, I'm not even a cream soda person, but this smells like a tangy, orange, creamy, effervescent drink. Like it's gorgeous. So again, if you're an orange cream soda person, here you are, this is it. I feel like this is the best soda scent I've ever smelled. And like I said, very authentic. Mm. Okay, I guess I will say, I just thought of this. If you're about the Body Works OG, and I'm talking OG, Art Stuff Club from like Y2K. There was an Art Stuff Club scent called, or like an Art Stuff scent called, what was it? Sherbet Shake, something like that. Sherbet Shake. This smells like that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, just an orange cream soda, but it smells delicious, edible, drinkable, whatever. It's so on point with those notes. Beautiful packaging. Love it. Okay, the next one that I picked up is Wild Green Apples, so it just smells like green apples. At first I wasn't sure about this because when I first opened it, I got kind of like a weird bitterness that I got when I first smelled um, crisp green apple from Bath & Body Works. It just, to me, smells like a rind of an apple rather than like biting into and tasting an apple. So at first I remember when I was at Bath & Body Works, I was really put off by that when it first came out. I think when I would say that was maybe like 2019 or so, but then when I burned it, I really enjoyed it. So this is giving me that same kind of vibe. Like I get a weird kind of bitterness from it, but I think that that comes from the rind rather than like the meat of an apple instead. So I think that even though it's a little strange on cold, like first and foremost, I think that I definitely will Give this a chance no matter what and really burn it and enjoy it because once i burned my green apple candle from bath and body works it was beautiful speaking of apples i also picked up a green grass and apple so if you are not into earthy scents if you're not into grass scents i wouldn't recommend it because while i definitely get grass and also apple this is definitely prominent on the grass note it smells like a lawn in summer. And I actually really like that. I love the smell of grass. I love the smell of soil and leaves and, and rain and that kind of stuff. So this is good to me. But like I said, the uh, green grass is very prominent. It smells like someone just mowed. Um, if you don't want that in home fragrance, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you do, this is pretty good. And the apple, I think, kind of cuts that earthiness a little bit with a little bit of sweetness too. Mm, it's good. Okay, and the very last one, this is one I also really had an eye on from Sean's channel. This is Watermelon Bubblegum. Love that pink wax. Beautiful picture. And yeah, just Watermelon Bubblegum. This smells like watermelon lip smackers. Like, this doesn't smell like something I want to eat. Like, and I feel like a watermelon doesn't really have a scent to it anyway. At least not really. But yeah, this smells like a Fakey, but in a good way, if you can imagine that. Fakey, but in a good way. Watermelon, like sugared watermelon scent. So I really like it. Again, it's so unique. Like the scent itself is very unique. It kind of smells like watermelon lip smackers. So to you, if that scent is nostalgic and you feel like you would get down for that in home fragrance, this is definitely a good one to pick up. Like I said, I really 
wanted to check it out from Sean's channel and I'm glad that I did. So, so we'll see how my burning goes. We'll see how my melting goes, but I'm really excited about Goose Creek. I'm really excited about a potential future with me purchasing more from Goose Creek, depending on how I go with these candles, but really happy to have these. These candles are beautiful, not only in fragrance, but also in packaging. And I'm so uh, happy to support at least a smaller business than Bath and Body Works. Um, and yeah, I have high hopes for these, so I'm really excited. So definitely stay tuned. If you want me to do some reviews, I can probably do some reviews. Um, as always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at School House of Iron. I'll put it down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.